but I want to start by making all of you rich because the one thing that unites everyone is everybody like a little bit more money than they already got. Uh, that's what capitalism is, right? Uh, so Friday night, uh, we've got a game going on. I thought it was Thursday night. It's tough to keep up with every day. Florida State, Louisville, uh, minus two and a half Seminoles. I think they get it done. They haven't played since they beat LSU. Uh, Louisville coming off a nice win over Central Florida, uh, 20 to 14. They fought back from a 14 7 deficit, didn't allow Central Florida to score in the second half. I like for Florida State, however, to go on the road against Louisville, cover the two and a half. We get started on Friday there. Georgia, South Carolina. Uh, if you look at the Georgia, South Carolina game, historically, it has been very close. There have been a lot of battles that have ended up maybe as a surprise, good rivalry game, good border state battle, uh, probably the best rival that South Carolina really has, at least in their mind, in the entirety of the SEC. Uh, And I think that South Carolina is going to cover the 24 and a half. And I said in my write-up, this is one of those games where if I'm wrong, you end up feeling like a complete imbecile because clearly South Carolina is nowhere near as good as Georgia But I feel like the Bulldogs uh, are maybe not going to bring their A game here. South Carolina, with the home crowd behind them, is going to play better. And 24 and a half is a big number. I'm on Cal. Cal is going on the road against Notre Dame. I think Cal covers a big number here, plus 10 and a half. Uh, I don't think Notre Dame, I should say, can cover a double-digit spread. Just lost their quarterback, Tyler Buckner, for the rest of the year. Uh, So far, Marcus Freeman and this offense has been very mediocre. Marcus Freeman only has coached three games in his life. Uh, Notre Dame certainly needs to get a win. Cal's got two wins already. They've got a little bit of momentum. They beat UC Davis. They beat UNLV. I think the Golden Bears go on the road, keep this inside of 10.5. Two best games that are going on this weekend. Penn State-Auburn. Brian Harson has a lot of pressure on him right now. It's clear that his athletic director who hired him is now gone. Uh, There was a lot of pressure to move on from Brian Harson Last year, uh, the team, frankly, at Auburn is not very good. This year, there's a lot of coaches out there who could potentially be interested in that Auburn job given what they can pay to get somebody to come down on the planes. I will be there in person watching Penn State-Auburn. I'll be there for big noon kickoff. Looking forward to flying in and being present for this one. Uh, But I think if you look at Penn State, there are a lot of questions as well. Sean Clifford, veteran quarterback. Uh, You've got James Franklin that's trying to establish. We know, we believe at least, that Ohio State and Michigan are very good uh, in the Big Ten East. Verdict still out on Michigan State, but we know the Big Ten West is very bad. And so there is a slanted dynamic at play here where all the best teams are in the Big Ten East. It's going to be a tough schedule for Penn State. Certainly going to be a tough schedule for Auburn as well. We don't really know what either of these teams has. And so I think the most likely outcome here is I'm not sold on the Auburn offense. I don't think Penn State's going to take a lot of risks on the offensive side of the ball. I like the under 47 and a half on this one. Second best game that is happening over the weekend. Would have been the best game if App State hadn't pulled off the upset over Texas A&M. I like the under on Miami at uh, Texas A&M as well. Under 45 and a half. This A&M offense is atrocious. Haynes King may one day turn into a good quarterback. He is not there right now. Against App State, Texas A&M couldn't put up over 100 yards of rush or passing offense that's unheard of, especially because App State gave up 60-plus to UNC. We're not talking about a steel curtain defense. I like the under in this one. I think Miami comes on the road. Texas A&M battens down what is a fairly solid defense and the under 45 and a half hits. Uh, Mike Leach, Mississippi State going on the road against LSU. Last time they went on the road against LSU was Mike Leach's debut, if I remember correctly. And Mississippi State won. And uh, Bo Pelini basically got fired over this game. Uh, I think what's going to happen here is we will get Mississippi State, who may well be the second best team in the SEC West. I think Alabama is the best, even though they didn't play well against Texas. But Mississippi State and Arkansas, solid arguments, I think, for both teams right now. Mississippi State was great on the road, caught up with that game after I fell asleep watching it late night start at Arizona. 
They've proven they can go on the road and win. I like the Will Rogers component here. I like the Bulldogs to beat LSU by a touchdown or more in Death Valley and cover the two and a half. Uh, Akron, going up against Tennessee. Vols are going to get to 3-0 and and set up the big game against Florida, but I think they pull their starters early in the third quarter. This number is all the way out to 47 and a half. 47 and a half. Uh, as much as I think Tennessee may well uh, play uh, play very well in the first half and likely is going to have a lot of offensive success, 47 and a half is too many. I'm going to take the Zips plus the 47 and a half. South Florida on the road against the Gators. Gators trying to bounce back after a woeful second half against Kentucky. What Anthony Richardson are we going to get on the week before Florida goes on the road for the first time and plays against Tennessee? I'm going to take the Bulls to cover uh, the uh, plus 24 and a half uh, in this one. Old Dominion uh, at Virginia. I'm going to take ODU. They already pulled off the upset over Virginia Tech. I don't think Virginia is very good. Uh, not very good offensively. 24-3, to I believe, was the final. The game they lost against Illinois. Uh, I like ODU plus the points. Liberty, uh, Wake Forest. I like the over 63 and a half. Hugh Freeze going up against Dave Clawson. There you have it. Ten winners for all of you on the college football bet calendar. <laughs> 